Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 2. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 8 of Book 2, which states that if we have a line segment AB cut at an arbitrary point C, then the rectangle formed by AB and CB times 4 plus the area of the square of AC will be equal to AB plus an additional distance again of CB of this whole thing squared. All right, so that's what we're going to demonstrate. So first things first, let's extend our line AB to the point D such that CB is equal to BD. Draw a square on AD and start drawing our lines parallel from B and through the intersection points of the diagonal parallel to AD. Like usual, I won't describe them in detail because we've done this so many times before. And there we have our figure. Now, the first thing we're going to discuss is the qualities of all these lines. So, we know that CB is equal to BD because we constructed it that way. GK is equal to CB because they are the opposite sides of a parallelogram. And BD is equal to KN because it is also opposite the sides of a parallelogram, which gives us that GK is equal to KN. And by the same argument, QR is equal to RP. Now, since GK is equal to KN, and these two rectangles are along parallel lines, then from Proposition 36, the area CK is equal to the area BN, and likewise, GR and KP are also equal in area. If we look at our square CDPQ, CK and KP are complements, and hence they are also equal. So what we've basically demonstrated is that these four squares are all equal in area. Again, since CB is equal to BD and GK is equal to KN, we've already demonstrated in a prior proposition, I think it was proposition 4, that CB will be equal to CG, and GK will be equal to GQ, which gives us that CG is equal to GQ. By the same argument, we can also demonstrate that QR is equal to RP. So given all these equalities, again, since CG is equal to GQ, and they are two rectangles formed on the same parallel lines with equal bases, then AG is equal to MQ, and similarly QL is equal to RF. But again, MQ and QL are complements of a rectangle, and hence are also equal. So thus we've proven that this is equal to this, which is equal to this, which is equal to that, or in other words, these four rectangles are equal. So now if we look at the nonum STU, it is equal to AG times 4, since this is, they're all equal, so each one of these is equal to AG, so AG times 4, plus CK times 4, since CK is also equal to these squares. So again, STU is equal to AG plus CK. But what is AG plus CK? That would give us AK. And AK is equal to AB times BK. But we know that BK is also equal to BD, which is also equal to BC. So hence, AK is equal to AB times CB. So we have that STU, which was 4 times AK, which is equal to AB times BD, 
If we now add on, finally, this rec the square OH, OH is equal to AC squared. So STU plus OH is the square of AD. It is also equal to 4 times AB times BD plus AC squared. But BD is equal to BD is equal to CB. AD all squared is equal to AB plus BC all squared. So we now have the AB plus BC all squared, which is this big, large square, is equal to 4 times AC times BD. Sorry, AB times BD. That would be this here. 4 times this plus AC squared. So if we look at this a little more carefully, 4 times this green plus this purple, that purple, anyway, this 4 times this area here ends up being all of this plus this little purple area is equal to AD all squared or AB plus BC all squared. A little complicated, but there it is. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.